President of Abuja wants the authorities to devise better strategies of tackling security challenges in the nation's capital as the Yuletide sets in. A kidnapping is at top on the list of criminal activities that pose grave concern to the people. Sifo Nessian reports. The Yuletide season often witnesses a spike in criminal activities. In Abuja, the police authorities are mindful that a spike in crime would pose a serious threat to lives and property. For the fact that December months, Ember months, Ember months are known for an increase in crime, uh, we're conducting special operations, not just the police, in concert with other security agencies, adequate deployments are being made so that at least people enjoy uh, crime-free, Yuletide, relatively crime-free. On the 26th of November, a third-class traditional ruler of Rubochi was kidnapped. He was released three days later and he is receiving medical treatment. Kidnapping and one chance top the list of criminal activities that continue to worry residents of Abuja. The security have a lot to play. The security people have a lot to play in this. They really need to, you know, be on the watch on how these uh, things are really going on in this country. The government has stopped uh, some individual buses to be uh, taking passengers and they are so quick to stop things but what are the uh, the alternative the palliative that we pushing the, the the hardship that the nigerian people are facing as regards to the transportation system the rate in which kidnapping and one chance is becoming more in the city especially in abuja and in neighboring states for example like kaduna traveling to kaduna by road now is just like between life and death. That's why if you go to the train station now, you see that people are, I've, I think I've followed train, standing. I prefer standing. I've stand from Abuja to Kaduna. The spate of kidnapping in remote villages in Kuje, Kwali, and Abaji area councils prompted a special joint operation led by the police. Between October and November, 31 persons were arrested in connection with kidnapping. It's unfortunate that uh you never wipe away crime completely. Uh, you clean a place, tomorrow somebody comes up with a funny idea and still operates. It's a responsibility to go back there and also clean that so that at least a greater percentage of the time will, the area will be crime free. But residents believe a lot more needs to be done to tackle the challenges to security in the nation's capital. The government needs to do more. We need to see the police uh, do more. We expect more from them. They may not know what we are passing through because they are not experiencing it. But I think the government needs to come in to do something. So I have what will make the youth to be busy. On the 31st of October, one Ezenwo do Orioha, alias Papa Entamoto, was arrested in Karimo village. According to the police, the 65-year-old was a voodoo priest who prepared charms for the one chance criminals. He and three others are in police custody awaiting trial. We were told that undeveloped plots of land in remote areas of Karimo were used as hideouts for the one chance criminals. On this day, a special police court tackling one chance in Abuja led us to remote locations in Karimo district where one chance criminals had been apprehended. We couldn't have gotten here without um, the protection and assistance of the police. And um, this, I'm um, told, used to be the shrines uh, of uh, these crime suspects or criminals, uh, fondly or locally called one chance. I'm told that um, they bring their victims here and um, they get them to, to swear an oath, you know. Basically, they thrive on fear and um, trying to get what they want out of their victims. This is a huge um, cashew plantation in an isolated area, making it very difficult for any onlooker to detect that um, such an activity is going on. But um, now it's been busted by the police and um, the area is well dominated by the police. The police understand that busting the criminal hideout and arresting suspects is just a step in making Abuja safer as the task requires a lot more effort. C1 ACN, TVC News, Abuja.